in my experience, another approach that really changed my life and uh, um, really gave another, a deeper, uh, deep, that really deepened my, uh, my uh, uh, action is uh, called AGER, Age Gate Emotional Release. This is an acronym that uh, me and Dr. Vincenzo Di Spazio, we, which is, we, and we are the founder of this, uh, this technique, uh, we created to define this uh, powerful approach. What is AGER? Basically, it's based on, uh, well, it's based on the discoveries of uh, Dr. Di Spazio, again, back in 1996, when uh, mm, observing the, uh, the eye, he's an iridologist, so observing the eye, saying, seeing that there is a, uh, a, like a clock of 60 years uh, around the, around the, the eye, um, well, he found that, and, and also basing his research on the Dr. Caligari's uh, map uh, points of, the, on, uh, of age on this human skin, well, he found out that on the skin along the, uh, along the spine, there are points that connect you to different ages. So let's say that, for example, on the uh, cervical, the first cervical, here where is the, uh, the base of the skull, there is the first year of age. So it means from your birth to the first anniversary. And if, he, uh, if there is something that happened in that age and you haven't digested yet, well, mm, this point will be active. It means that uh, you will feel something when you stimulate it. And this uh, spinal clock continues with the second cervical, the third cervical, the fourth cervical, back till the, sev the seventh cervical. And then again from the D1, the dorsal one, till the dorsal 12. And then again from the lumbar, lumbar one to the lumbar five. So lumbar five, for example, is uh, the, when it means the 30th year of age, which means uh, 29 uh, year of age, okay? So 30th means 29, actually, actual 29. And then the clock start again, going backwards, and so you have the 31st, the 32nd, the 33rd, and so on. So it means that uh, in, in your, you, will, you can find the map on the, uh, this, uh, the spinal clock on the andreafredi.com, so it, it will be easier for you to, to watch the map. And um, on the, on the uh, cervical one, you are back in the 60th year of age. And then the clock start again. So let's see what is the useful uh, approach of uh, useful um, uh, the the use of this map. So if you have anything in your life that you haven't digested yet, and you are not able to contact it, maybe because you don't remember it, maybe because you don't even know you don't even know that anything happened in that age. Well, you can. Activate the point by a gentle massage and sometimes immediately, sometimes after a few minutes, sometimes after a few hours, sometimes after a few days, um, things start to come up. So you can, you can feel different things in your body, you can have emotions that you before you didn't have, or you can even have images or memories or symbols, whatever. Uh, is uh, your subconscious mind is, is uh, giving you as a hint, as a, as a uh, connection with that event that hasn't been digested yet. When this thing happens, when the, the, the memories and this, the sensation are evoked, well, you can use the energy techniques like SET or EFT or logosynthesis to transform, to digest uh, what is, uh, you are feeling, what is... Uh, uh, yet uh, to be digested. And uh, AGER actually is an uh, integration of the spinal clock of Dr. Dispazio with the energy techniques. So the energy techniques gives uh, a quick uh, fix to, to what uh, 
is uh, evoked by the, by the stimulation of the spinal clock. And uh, another interesting approach is that in your spine, when, and I can tell you, it's uh, the research of Dr. Dispazio are more than 7,000 cases. So, and it has been with different races, so all the races of the present on the planet, and people from different cultures. So from it Italy, from Germany, from uh, Africa, from USA. So uh, no, it's a very um, complete research. And um, what happens is that uh, in your spinal clock, you don't not only have your memories, but you also have the memories of your family. Of course, memories that haven't been digested yet. So let's say um, things that really created a, a, a suffering, okay? Like a loss, uh, like a accident, like a, a war, uh, trauma or so on. Then you can even find on those points in your, in your skin, on your spine, you can even find memories of people who were already dead when you were born. So like uh, the grandmother or fathers or grand-grandmother and fathers and so on. And uh, it's like a um, well, of course, those who, who know family constellation and transgenerational uh, uh, psychology, well, they know this pretty well, but it could be very, um, very strange to, uh, for those who know it for the first time. But this is the way it is. So mainly, in, uh, in, as we are not only, we are not separate, we are inside a system. And inside the system, there is an intelligence. And uh, this intelligence tells us that if one member of the system is not able to, to go beyond something, well, automatically, this thing is passed to the following generation or following generations in order to be digested. And it's an intelligent thing. And uh, the first time, maybe you can feel, well, it's, I'm not so happy about that because I already have my things. What, I, what should I bother from grandfather's or uh, grandmother's uh, issues? Well, if you do so, if you are able to to process this and it's more likely that you have more resources to digest it than your grandfather or your, or your grandmother had. Well, if you can do so, you can give a, a, side, of a, a side to all the system. And it means that this event has been digested and you know what happens when you digest something, for example, food. If you digest, when you digest food, you give, you receive energy. And it means that by processing and digesting those events of your family, well, you receive energy and energy is consciousness. So it's, ager is another way to improve consciousness, to become more present and more centered and more light.